Two days of high-level talks between the United States and China have come to a close with both sides agreeing that North Korea's nuclear weapons program must be stopped. But they didn't see as eye-to-eye -eye on cyber attack allegations that have put a sizable dent in Sino-American relations. Our Yulian tells us more. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry says Washington and Beijing agree that curbing North Korea's nuclear weapons program is an urgent matter. In a press briefing after two days of talks Thursday, Kerry said both sides discussed specific ways to advance the goal of denuclearizing the North. Kerry and his Chinese counterparts also emphasized the importance of enforcing U.N. Security Council resolutions aimed at North Korea's weapons of mass destruction and its ballistic missile program. This one day after North Korea fired two short-range missiles into the East Sea, demonstrating its capabilities. Kerry did, however, call on China to do more to rein in its neighboring ally and persuade them to give up their nuclear weapons. The U.S. indictment of five Chinese military officials for allegedly stealing trade secrets from American companies was also a topic of conversation. Kerry said that the loss of intellectual property through cyber hacking is having a chilling effect on U.S. innovation and investment, while Chinese foreign policy chief Yang Jiechi described cybersecurity as a common threat facing all countries. Yang added that cyberspace should not be used as a tool for damaging the interests of other countries. Yulian, Arirang News.